This is another video in the multi-site WordPress video series. In this video, we'll simply show you how to create a new site on your network. Here we are in the network administration dashboard area. Again, this is separate from an individual site dashboard area. If I choose all sites, it'll show me all the sites that's, that are currently on the network. And right now, it is only the main site. So we'll go ahead and click Add New to create a new site. So the first thing we need to know is the site address that we want. Because we've chosen to create subdomains, this will be whatever we enter dot buildwithwp.com and then we'll be able to add the normal WordPress site title and the administration email. So I'm going to go ahead and create the WP Network manual as a subdomain. I'm going to choose the title here, WP Website Network Manager. And the administration email that I enter here should be the same administration email that administers the site or the administration email for the network. So basically any email that you enter in here, if it already exists on the installation, then it will attach this new site to that user. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the administrator email here. Click Add Site. And we've got a notice that the new site has been added. So let's go ahead and click All Sites. And now you'll see that there's two sites on the network. Now you'll see some hover menus when you um, hover over this additional site we've made. You can choose to edit the site details, which takes you to some um, different areas that you probably won't need to go into anytime soon. So I'll go over this quickly. It's info, it's the users that are on that site, the themes that uh, are in that site, and the site settings. Okay. And we'll be able to get to these areas through the dashboard. So you go ahead and hover over, you'll see the dashboard link, which will take us to the individual dashboard of this individual site, which is different from this site's dashboard and different from the network site's dashboard. You'll also see a deactivate link. So you can deactivate this entire site on your network. You can archive the site, which will deactivate it and save it. You can spam it. Um, if this is a site that's been created by someone you don't know, uh, you can choose to mark it as spam. You can delete the entire site, or you can visit the front end of the site. So as you create additional sites in your network, you'll see more and more of them listed here. So let's go into this site's dashboard area. Choose Dashboard, and now you've got the normal WordPress dashboard settings, but you'll also know that the My Sites link is there. So if you choose My Sites, it shows me the websites that are attached to my user. So let's say you have uh, a friend named Bob, and you've created Bob a site on your network that he created that he blogs on or it's his business site or it's a client site <clears throat> so Bob is a user on your site uh, excuse me is a user on your network so as you create additional sites and attach those sites to Bob's admin email it will list all of the sites that he has so you can see everything else is absolutely the same here with the exception of a couple of things. Let's look at the themes. Now because I'm logged in you're seeing some extra uh, choices here but if I'm logged in as a normal site administrator I will only see the themes here that the network administrator has enabled me to see.
The same with the plugins menu. Remember when I chose to show the plugins menu? You'll see that there's no drop down underneath here. There's no add new, there's no edit. I can only activate and deactivate the plugins that are on the network. Now, let me go back to the network administration panel and show you something else. So if I go back to the network admin panel, I choose network settings and I uncheck plugins and choose save settings and go back to an individual site dashboard. If I were not logged in as the network administrator right now, this plugins menu item would be gone. So any users that are standard administrator users for any sites will not see the plugins menu. So let's go ahead and change that back. <clears throat> okay. So now you're the administrator of your own network of sites. So if you're not allowing anybody else to be on your site, you can manage all your individual websites from this area. Now, if you choose to visit a site that you've created, you'll see that the address up here is the subdomain WP Network Manual dot build with WP dot com. Well, let's imagine that you want a regular domain name to point to this website. You can certainly do that with the domain mapping plugin. And in the next series of videos, I'll show you exactly how to do that. In other words, this subdomain site can be seen by users as a completely separate and individual website. They'll never know it's on a network of sites.